Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Opalar Electric Air Duster. Now, I unboxed something similar to this last year. I believe the brand was Athmat, and to my knowledge, they're basically identical. The difference is the company, the branding, and who stands behind it. Now, the Athmat, unfortunately, was a total bust. Within about a few months, it could no longer hold a charge. So I decided I'm gonna give Opalar a shot and see if this works out. Now, uh, at, I think it was on sale for about $45. These generally retail for around 80, and they're not gonna give you the same pressure that compressed air in a can will. And of course, those are a lot less expensive, worse for the environment. But more importantly, if like me, you wanna do any sort of dusting on camera equipment, electronics, you don't really want to use compressed air. I'm not saying it's forbidden, but when it comes to at least cameras, uh, you know, ca actual, uh, DSLR bodies, uh, mirrorless interchangeable stuff, lenses, you do not want any uh, chemicals, foreign chemical substances getting into that mix. So that's where something like this seems like a dream device, but if the charge doesn't last, as I mentioned, then it's not a dream, it's a little bit of a nightmare. So I was able to get Amazon to refund my money, um, at least in part, on that Athmat piece of junk. Uh, this, I'm hoping, is going to change my view of the product, it does look a little bit different, but not that much different. Um, so the handle looks a little bit different. It, it looks like it's a larger device. So hopefully this ends up, you know, giving me a different experience. But as you can see right here is the micro USB port. I do wish that they employed a type C port, but you know, we can't win it all. You get two different tools. This one, which is dusty out of the box, ironically, as I almost like snap it as I attach it, is ideal for, you know, anything that, like a keyboard or something to that effect. And you can see some of the uh, power there. This actually already seems a little bit more powerful than uh, the Athmat. Um, so I blew that away and uh, was cleaning up this surface. Included micro uh, USB charging cable, of course a type A to micro. So you will need to hook up the type A end of this to either a power brick, a computer, something where you can provide power to this. But the key for me is still going to be, can this actually hold a charge? Now reviews are really mixed um, and I will revisit this thing. I didn't revisit the Athmat because it went back and quite frankly, it was so bad that I was upset that I even shared it on the channel. Hopefully, because this is the more well-known brand name, again, Opalar, which to me is of no relevance and I have no connection to them. And again, I purchased this just like I purchased the Athmat. Uh, $45 on sale still seems like a high price, but um, this seems to be a little bit more weighty. Uh, even though design is very similar, it is slightly tweaked. I don't remember uh, the base feeling the same on this. And then you can see right here on the back of the air duster, uh, the voltage specs as well as the battery. So 6,000 milliamp hour, I do not think was the same rating on the Athmat. So hopefully this in some way is, you know, revised uh, in some capacity better and ends up working out because I think that conceptually this is a brilliant device. It won't replace, uh, you know, canned air, compressed air for certain instances, but it will offset it in a lot of places where I would traditionally use it. As I said, like dusting a lens. For example, I've got my, my giant 200 to 600 uh, G series E mount lens right here. And, tr you know, usually I would use just an air blower, but not an ele electronic one. So, what that equates to is breaking out something like this guy here. And a lot of people will say this is arguably the better option. But I'll tell you right now, um, <laughs> when you start doing this enough times, uh, you're going to get a little bit insane. You're going to get fatigue. I mean, uh, pumping the air out over a long period of time is not ideal. Are these great? Do I recommend them to everyone? Absolutely. Um, if you're a photographer, it doesn't matter whether you're a pro or an enthusiast, just a hobbyist, this is a must have. And they're about $12, $15, whatever it may be. Perfect for when you're out shooting and you need to clear your lens. Uh, or if I wanna just clean my glasses without you know putting some form of Zeiss wipe or anything else on it, this is ideal. But to have something like this in the studio is really something I've wanted since the Athmat, uh, you know, essentially didn't work out. So I'm glad to now have another option. It does seem stronger, so we're gonna see. It definitely seems stronger. You can see the LED lighting up there. 
as it's blowing everything around on my uh, uh, studio uh, desk here. So uh, we'll see. Uh, reviews generally, generally for the Opal R are better uh, than the Athmat. So the Athmat may have just been a crappy knockoff. We'll see. Uh, I was under the impression they're all the same with just different branding. Uh, but at the end of the day, if this ends up working out, then it is $45 well spent. The one thing I will tell you that I noticed was that with the Athmat, there was some some Japanese insert, and here there is no such thing. So I don't know if one was really designed for the U.S. market, meaning this one, and the other wasn't. Also, I read some people said that the Opal R originally did not come with this head, so this may be a revision of sorts. Either way, this is a first look at something that I think is a must-have for anyone like myself, not just in terms of photography, but you want to clean out a desktop computer, a laptop, anything that is sensitive, you know, electronics based that introducing chemicals into could potentially harm or even damage, then something like this is ideal. Again, you'll never achieve the same pressure as compressed air. You won't do that with this either, but the novelty of this, especially if the battery holds up, if I get a year to two years out of this, I will be very happy. And I think the warranty is one year. But that pretty much rounds it out. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.